Hello, my name is Steve Medlin. I have lived and worked right here in my hometown of Concord, North Carolina for nearly 40 years. Even though we are an area of small towns and small cities, we are still a reflection of the whole country as a melting pot of the world. All kinds of people, all colors, religions, backgrounds, languages, ethnic persuasions are right here in our community. Friends, even my own little Toastmasters Club has half a dozen members from other countries. And we have every religion, every accent you can imagine right there. It is again that small microcosm of the whole world meeting in America as that melting pot. Next time you look around your workplace or the school, see the greatness that arises out of our diversity of people working and interacting together. But that may be where the interaction ends. Let's think about that as we listen to Sheriff Brad Riley. Hi, I'm Sheriff Brad Riley of Cabarrus County, North Carolina. I am a public servant, just like all the men and women that serve alongside of me. Uh, it's a very important time, as always, for us to re be remindful of always communicating with our audiences and our public. Um, but that's inherent of us also Communications is a two-way street. It's inherent of us to also listen to that public. Very important for the public to understand that they play a very important role to constantly remind us uh, in, in um, remind us of, of what the expectations are. Uh, this has to be done not in lieu of a problem that has occurred, not at the end of some situation that has gone on, but on a constant basis, we have to communicate back and forth. And I think it's just a, a very important time for us to remind ourselves of that now. Thank you, Sheriff Riley. The interesting thing about any diverse culture is that we tend to go home at night to neighborhoods of people that look and talk just like us. There is one occupation that is required to communicate with people of every neighborhood, every background, every phase of society. That is, our law enforcement officers. It is a challenge for many of us to overcome cultural or language barriers. However, each cultural community seems to expect our police to know exactly how to communicate with their particular cultural community. We may be asking the impossible of mortals. I think that instead of sitting back insular and isolated in our own communities, we must be willing to reach out to our law enforcement and let them know our thoughts and needs as a community. Tell the police how to communicate with your community. After all, law enforcement officers are our employees. They protect all of us. And we all want to avail ourselves of this wonderful protection of our public servants and law enforcement officers. Most of the world does not enjoy that luxury. Let's thank our police. Let's reach out to them and respect them.